Hey. Can you hear me? Hey, you're talented too. <laughs> We've turned you into a songwriter. There we go. Uh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, somebody who used my exploit last had muted the microphone. That is so strange. Uh, uh, in the program. Well, you weren't muted to me, though. No, exactly. <laughs> that is so strange. Well, I'm sure that introduction was uh, better to me than to somebody else. Um, hashtag blame Sean. Uh, now, uh, I know that it's last episode we had uh, voted on a CNE and original to write a song about. And at the last moment, uh, you guys decided to tie it up between uh, uh, Stokey and Zorbu. Um, we did an office poll uh, after that, uh, just internally and Stokey won it overwhelmingly um so we figured why not let's do a let's do a song for our first ever event champion uh, uh but before we get to that what do you yeah it's no we fixed it thanks thanks Erica um no uh before we before we get to that uh we did something really cool last week with uh with uh with Jim Zub. Um, we did. Yeah. The He liked it a lot. Yeah, the Space Hamster Blues. Uh and so uh, uh carrying on the tradition. Yeah. Let's, uh let's uh let's kick off this episode with the song that we made last week. Space Hamster Blues, everybody. <laughs> Down. And now I'm stuck here wandering with this loud and rounded clown. But kicking for goodness, I hear him shout from town to town. Here we are in Mother's Gate, fighting monsters and bear spawn. Mm -hmm. He said something about magic and songs for everyone. I kick him for goodness. Oh my goodness, not again. Says he lives by the sword and his tattoo is purple. 
but it sure looks like the blues to me. How did I end up here stuck with these weirdos, shrunk down for eternity? Yeah, 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 yeah. Down rain and mud on my face. Life was simpler out in space. Crossing stars in the astral sea. Whatever happened to me? Kicking down doors, blood on the floors, and this heroic killing spree. He says he lives by the sword and his tattoo is purple. But it sure looks like the blues to me. How did I end up here stuck with these weirdos? Trump down for eternity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost dead and it's thrilled. A best friend trying to get his kill. Says the bigger they are, the harder he hits. Even demons and devils run back to their pits. The city in numbers and we're in these pharmacists. Now we're heroes and legends. Fighting evil with my crew. Your holders and demons and goblins and kobolds. May our sword strike ever true. Where goes the stench of evil? So goes the cleansing when the men's can boo. And now we go for the eyes. Well, yeah, we go for the eyes. Well, yeah, we go for the eyes. 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 Space hamster blues. Yeah, the the bluest the bluest hamster blues that ever blued. I don't know. I got I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> It's good. Uh, that was fun to that was fun to put together last week. It was it was I like that um because we've gone with a different genre of music for every single song that it presents a different challenge every time. Um and so it's it's fascinating for me as somebody who doesn't know how to write music uh to see that like you know the one for Spurt came together in the first hour of the show. Uh but right. but some of them, you know, like the one for Bruner like you know, took us an extra, I don't know, like half hour, 40 minutes to finish it after the show. Um, right. And it's just kind of, you know. It, yeah, it goes. And I think, didn't the one, did we fully finish the one for Strahd or did we have to do a little extra on that one too? We did some extra on, on Strahd. That was, that was, a, I think that one, in in that case, it was more like, no, we want to get this right. It's Strahd. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, man. Like in general, I've always putting a time limit on creativity is always tough, right? Mm -hmm. Like we have this show and we do, we write a song in two hours with chat's help, which is kind of crazy um, because sometimes I'll have songwriting sessions with people scheduled for like four to six hours and we might only come up with a verse and a chorus. But I think that like chat helps and also the fact that we actually have a time deadline helps because um, it just sort of like puts us in that do or die mindset. At the same time, you might argue that, um, you know, putting a time limit, time limit on creativity will um, sort of force you to make decisions and that you might not normally make. But um, sometimes it forces you to make a decision and, um, and then there it is. And you can always go back and change it too. 
that's the great thing about songwriting is if you haven't released it yet, there's always this, those moments to tweak on it. Uh, Luke McKay, McKay in chat says, "Art is never finished; it only ever reaches a deadline." That's about yeah. That's about right. <laughs> uh, so, Stokey, rock Stokey gnome stoked. Rock. So we need to make some rock gnome rock. Yeah, it's got to be rock, man. Like it's totally got to be rock. She's a rock gnome. Forget about it. <laughs> uh, so how do you? How would you like to start? I don't know. Let me think of a riff really quick. I was thinking of like an ACDC inspired, you know, like. Let me tune this thing first. That would help. messing around but no no Riff. yeah it can be that simple and that should be the riff like Yeah, so just imagine like that steady like ACDC like yep and I don't mind and uh so is stoic uh part part of uh is stokey stoic I would describe stokey as stoic um mm, that doesn't know. really apply to a rock song though so, Not I'm so just, much I'm, I'm sticking I'm 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 and look I've I've played D&D &D forever so like I know like really what a rock gnome is but come on we're writing a song and she's a rock gnome this song's yeah. got a rock end of story yeah let there let there be rock <laughs> like, no. So that should kind of be the verse, like. <laughs> well, we'll get there. So, what should be the what's the opening line be? Um, somebody was suggesting we've had two different song titles suggested. One is "Stoked for Stokey," which is just kind of amusing, and then the other mm -hmm. one is "Key Explosion." Uh, because, uh, well, I mean, she hits one of the things that she does in the game is she hits points on enemies and causes them to explode eventually, uh, well, using the power of her key. She's a monk, so, um, key explosion could be actually really fun. I like that. Yeah. Just gonna put this down a little bit. Uh, oh, I scrolled up, so... Yeah, in the key of rock. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the key of rock. Oh, the key of rock. Man, that's really good. That's really, really good. <laughs> uh. <laughs>
Yeah, okay, so here, I think I got a structure. I'll just kind of na 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 it, if that's okay. Yeah, let's do it. So it's like. So something like that for the verse. Mm -hmm. I think the key of rock is is awesome because it kind of works in two ways obviously yeah. the musical key or the key of focusing your power <laughs> Should it be from her point of view, singing about how she uses the key of rock? I think so. I think that's great because, uh, you know, the backstory as written, like this being the first character that we ever created, like there's a couple paragraphs about them and that's it. Um, and it basically sets them up as if there's somebody who's about to go on an adventure. Um, you know, tragic incident in the past. You know, that put them on the path to becoming a, a monk and being more thoughtful about their actions and the way that they interact with the world. Um, and they, you know, lived in a monastery, grew into their, you know, more formative self there and decided to leave. And it just so turns out that they tend to solve problems with their fists everywhere, which kind of makes me think of the 36 Chambers of Shaolin, but that's a whole other story. Um, oh, man, I love that movie. Isn't it great? Oh, man. Yeah. Love that film. If any of you like old, uh, old uh, kung fu movies, Thirty Six Chambers of Shaolin is a masterpiece, classic. Uh, what is his name? Gordon Liu. Yeah, I think it's Gordon mm -hmm. Liu. Is in like, I mean, there's there's like a dozen sequels. There's tons of them. Anyways, uh, but yeah, it solves all their problems with their fists, um, and. Uh, you know, is still thoughtful and introspective, but uh, if you I'm, if you've got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out my fist. As the <laughs> DJ resolves it. I'm just joking. All right. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> vanilla ice. That's some vanilla ice right there for you. That's so funny. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Except for I think he oh. says check. He doesn't actually say check out my fist, but you know. yeah. I still remember when he performed a song at the end of the second Ninja Turtles movie. Oh yeah. I love that <laughs> because like he he's performing a song, the Ninja Turtles bust in, a whole fight is going on and he just still He don't. just goes with it and keeps going and he starts yeah. rapping about ninjas. Hey, go the ninja, show go must ninja, go ninja, go. On. <laughs> respect, respect. The show must go on no yeah. matter what. Oh man. <laughs> Um, I might be a monk, but I still know how to rock, you know, or something like that. But I come from the rocks, I come from the rock, you know, I'm born from rock, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, it, when it's, it's literal the whole time, but if ACDC were singing it, they would mean they were talking about rock music. So, and they would be right. <laughs> yeah, they sure would. <clears throat> oh, well, they had something called Let There Be Rock. Hmm? I, I was just, Thinking, I'm still sad that I never got to see them. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I've heard rumors that they might do something, so you might have one more chance. That would be cool. Yeah. Because um, I know Mal Malcolm Young's nephew had was taking over for him, and uh, I heard that they're getting, they're doing, there's rumblings that they're doing something. So we'll see. We'll see. That's, that's exciting news uh, as yeah. somebody who didn't get an opportunity to see them before. Born from rock, I embrace the rock. Yeah. My strength is from rock. For those about to rock, we expend a key point. <laughs> and, on the, and on the mountain rock, we extend a key point. Yeah. 
I feel like <laughs> without the cannons, it's a little less. <laughs> right. And you got fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> you got fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could be about how they're heading out into the world to teach the to teach the key of rock. Yeah, seeing, why not? Seeing themselves as as a as a teacher, like, you know, head out on the path to teach the key of rock, or on on a path to teach the key of rock. I don't know how that sings though. Um, heading heading down the path to teach the key of rock. That almost works. Um, but I think path. Let's have something stronger than path. Um, I mean, what if we just said head head. I'm headed down the road to teach the key of rock. Even though, yes, path is better for D and D world, but road is better for a rock song. So it's like <clears throat> I'm headed down the road to teach the key of rock. This could end up either being an ACDC sounding song or a Tenacious D sounding song. Hey, hey so both then, are good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down with either one. Yeah. I'm... What if it's to find the key of rock? Like oh, maybe that's this better. is like her journey. That's even better. I'm headed down the road to find the key of rock. Ain't no way to stop. We should definitely it, it, like ain't no way, ain't no way to stop, or ain't ain't there ain't no way to stop should be like the second part. Um, there ain't no way to stop. Oh yeah, okay. Uh this is my path or no. Um I wanna almost say like have a couple extra syllables in there, like either you know this is my path, there ain't no way to stop. Or oh, something. I like that better. You know this is my path, there ain't no way to stop. There's no way to stop. I mean, either way, we'll figure out the structure, but. Maybe it could be as simple, maybe it could be as simple as that. That's a little high. <laughs>
myself. I'm thinking of like where we'll go for the chorus, but it would be fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'll keep it that simple. So, so we should do like the the four, the third and fourth lines could be like. Stand in my way, and you're gonna drop. That's good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, look, that last one. Standing in my way, gonna drop. So now we've got like a, um, what's up, Osborne? How's it going, man? Contribute to the song. Jump on in. Mm -hmm. Now, if you subscribe to my channel, you'd have so many more cartoon emotes of me. So just saying. I appreciate the one you got, though. <laughs> Did you see that one, Dylan? The, the emoji screaming. there? Yeah. yeah, and with your like, you have a flaming beard, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, there's just flame. I'm surrounded by flames. My my beard may be flaming as well. That's my one from Geek and Sundry. If you're a Geek and Sundry subscriber, you can get that oh, one. Nice. But if you're a Jason Charles Miller subscriber, you can get like a ton. But anyway, that one definitely applies to the Rock right now mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> your mind to be like water sorry i was just thinking about bruce lee quotes and gordon Liu. <laughs> sure sure yeah we'll which is that. funny because we're applying them to rock which is like the exact opposite of like calmness right yeah yeah this, uh -huh. empty your mind doesn't fit into it quite as well does it mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah be like a rock <laughs> firm unyielding <laughs> well, I mean, that part's good. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, this is my path. I'm in a wave stop. <clears throat> so I'd love to have these two lines here rhyme with each other, but not with rock or stop. Mm -hmm. And then the last one can be dropped. So it's like, da 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 a da 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 standing in my way, no going drop. And stand in my way and you're going to drop. I like the sentiment of that. We just have to massage that to make it work. Uh, lyric, you know, uh, rhythmic wise. So. way you're gonna pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> Man, This is what my training's for, or something. Or this oh, is what I'm training for. Yeah. This is what I'm training for. Um. No, I don't know less. I'll take. This is what I'm training for. I'll learn. I'll learn all I can and more or something. What I'm training for. I love it, I think. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I 
he opens all doors is pretty good. Oh, this is what I'm training for. I don't want to say key again. Maybe the key to open every door. The 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 way the way to open every door. This is what I'm training for. The way to open every door. And if you that way or the way, the way. This is what I'm training for, the way to open every door. And if you block my path, you know you're going to drop. I think. Actually, it shouldn't be path because we just said path. Um, hmm. Okay, what if it's the, you know, I don't mind using key again. This, this is what I'm training for, the key to open every door. And if you block my way, I'm going to make you drop. Can I try that? Yeah, let's try it out. Let's see where this goes. I'm heading down the road to find the key or rock. You know this is my path, there ain't no way to stop. This is what I'm training for. The key to open every door. And if you find my way, I'm gonna make you drop. I like it. Yeah. What do you think? Are we wanting to go into a chorus right there or more? No, I want to do one more verse because they're pretty fast. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So that same structure again. Okay. <laughs> Empty your mind, be like water, prepare yourself for the coming slaughter. <laughs> hey. I like, but write I like that down. I like the that rhyming. Somewhere. I don't know how monk like that is, but uh... <laughs> but you know what? It's a rock song, so all bets are off. <laughs> I don't know if that fits exactly the way it should, but. Uh... <laughs> As someone playing a monk campaign right now, it's pretty accurate. Someone said. <laughs> right, this is Stony letting her hair down and going full metal. I like that. Stokey, I mean. Yeah, Stony's a different song. Right, that, right. That one's definitely a Tenacious D song. Okay. <laughs> for talking i let my fist talk for me yes i like that idea um hmm. not much for talking i let my fist talk for me Thank <laughs> you. 
This isn't doing much to convince me that you don't need to have a beard to stream for CNE. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess everyone. I mean, his beard like blows mine away. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, are uh, there any non-bearded? You guys, well, you need S to. Satine and Margaret don't have beards. And, That's true. Uh, That's uh, true. For their show. So there's a beardless show on tomorrow. And there's a beardless show on Thursday mornings because uh, uh, neither Kat nor Erica have beards either. Yeah. that is it actually sounds more like rap <laughs> huh not much for talking let my fist talk for me doesn't sound as rocky does it well um it does no we can just we just have to make it fit um you know I'm not up top yeah right not much for talk i want to rock like i really like that um but we need to still make it work um, oh i'm not one for talk because remember we're not doing an internal rhyme in this so i don't necessarily want to have yeah, right. I'm not one for talk, but you can meet my... How about... I'm not one for talk, but you can meet my fist. But, yeah, I'm not one for talk, but you can meet my fist. Um, um, or, like, or it's like, or a kick if that doesn't... Or if you don't get the gist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um... I'm not one for talk, but you can meet my fists. Um, or mate. Uh, I'll throw a kick or two. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm not one for talk, but you can meet my fists. I'll throw a kick or two if you don't get the gist. And now we need that longer one that rhymes within that rhymes within the. And then we we will we'll need one more fist or gist rhyme for the last one. But I mean, we've got kissed, pissed, missed. Does she misty step? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wrong class. But yeah. Although that can sometimes be like a I think you um I think if you're an elf, you can pick Misty Step as sort of just like your little elf power. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but she's not an elf, so plus we would have to say step of mist, which would be funny, but she doesn't have that power. You probably shouldn't sing that. 
Right, dodge and miss. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Killer code monkey. Um, all right, yeah, get ready for a key explosion coming from my wrist. That's pretty good. But we need the line before that. So this is where we have an internal rhyme that we need to rhyme. So it's like, uh, this is what I'm, well, what, what we did the last verse was, this is what I'm training. This is what I'm training for, the key to open every door. Um, so. <laughs> Shadow monks get misty step. That's good. into the inner rhyme and then go to miss in the outer rhyme. Sure. Um, try that. Like if you attack, I'll dodge. Although not much rhymes with dodge other than lodge or fuselage. So dodge should probably fit. We should use dodge, but not necessarily rhyme it. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I was, I was reading one of the lines and I'm like, how could I? It's like divergent thought, but I don't think it's going to work. Anyways. Well, no, we'll definitely talk about dodging, but um, I don't think we can rhyme with it per se. What's her signature move again? Uh, um, so she can specialize in a couple things, but the the one that everybody uses these days because it's the best one categorically is key explosion. Um, but she has a, a golden palm strike. But hold on, maybe we can say, I'm not one for talk, but you can meet my fist. I'll throw a kick or two if you don't get the gist. Or I'll use my golden palm to da 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 da, you know. Or I'll use my golden palm. And if that don't make you calm, <laughs> um, then Something about mist, or or <laughs> or oh, wait 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 oh someone earlier said something about something coming from my wrist. Did we write that down? I'm gonna scroll back. Where is that? I'll take you down with a flick of the wrist. Make a pink mist. Well. A little extreme. <laughs> mm. Ooh, I like someone wrote, and, and unfortunately, it doesn't fit now with where we're going. But someone wrote, I'll "Leave you on the floor." Uh, um, uh, um, nem, nem, nem. Oh, um, nom, 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 nom. 
wrote, uh, I'll leave you on the floor and add you to the list. <laughs> but I think the flick of the wrist thing is what we got to do. Something about. Something about the flick of the wrist. Oh, key explosions never miss. Hmm. Or never miss is good. Like, or I'll use my golden palm. And if that don't make you calm, you know my key explosions never miss. I think that's it. Thanks, Trontonian. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, let's try that verse. But you can meet my fist I'll throw a kick on too If you don't get the chance Or I'll use my golden palm And if that don't make you calm You know my key explosions Well, they never miss Yeah Well, they never miss I had to add a couple of extra syllables But it worked You know my key explosions Well, they never miss now, now we gotta do a chorus. The chorus should totally start with like whoa whoa, whoa like a whoa. gang vocal like whoa, like whoa whoa yep or, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa and it'd be like gang vocal like whoa and whoa. Empty on, empty on your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa, empty on your mind. Knows what you might find where the key key rock glizzards. Okay. And maybe so maybe no 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 maybe it's where yeah where well the key rock glizzards. This is like a cross between an ACDC song and a kiss song. That works for me. That works great. I'd listen to that. Just keeping it simple. I 
think my chat froze. alive or something <laughs> no one no one no will be one will be left alive i know that's not very monk like not so okay much, no yeah. one will be left behind that's better that's better no one will be left behind exactly a whole lot of stokey <laughs> totally it. Do, 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 totally do, 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 it, Vallejo. Do, do, do. Whole lot of Stokey. <laughs> Pretty much what we got here. <laughs> no one will be left behind. Then I guess the last line is about, you know, united for the key of rock. I don't know, something. Yeah, hold on. Let me just do that so that we can, so I can see more of it. Let's see. Sign. Something about looking for a sign or something. Or something about it being the time. Yep, that's good too. You know, you know the little time or something. When your key overflows, you know it's time. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. If you've been gold palm struck. <laughs> What'd you say? I was humming to myself. Uh, somebody put, you've been gold palm struck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> to write one like this <laughs> we knew that was coming eventually what if it's when you when the key flows it's gonna be your time when the key flows it's gonna, it's gonna be your time 
I like that better. Too rock. That works for me. <laughs> Let me try it up to that point so far. it so I don't forget it. I mean, yes, this is technically the, our broadcast is technically recording too, but if I record it on my phone, at least I can jump back to it quicker. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Turning myself down. <laughs> As soon as you say to rock, I'm like, I'm in, I'm sold. Let's do this. Let's keep going. <laughs> Does it take you that long to be in though? That's like, a no, minute no, no, no. It's mostly just like, okay. <laughs> All right. it, it, uh, it, it makes the part of me that likes corny old rock music. Just really, really happy to, to yeah. hear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's corny today, but you know, what are you going to do? Well, I'll, probably be, fun. I'll probably be listening to ACDC after this, actually. <laughs> you should, man. There, you should. Yeah. There's like, a, I don't know if you have Apple Music or Spotify, but on Apple Music, there's this great, it's just called like ACDC Essentials. Yeah. Just got everything. Just just plug it in and go. Go, go, go. I'm sure there's a similar one on Spotify. There's got to be. But. Oh, probably. <laughs> So where do we want it to go from here? Another verse, but it can just be one. You know? Traveling yep. the world. Dylan, are you the creator of Idol Champions? Oh, God, no. No. No, you should just be like, yes, I am the creator. <laughs> yeah, it was Whoa. all me. I made it in my basement. No. Um, <laughs> I am uh, one of a team of many. Uh, who contribute to the game, uh, but in my case, not in the coding or art department, which is to say I don't make the game. <laughs> yeah. Although I sometimes write words for it, I guess. I have I have designed a few of the characters, actually. Including two of the ones coming with the next event. Yeah, you should, you should change your handle to Dylan the Creator. Dylan the Creator? 
and just don't necessarily just be like, oh, I mean, I'm not going to confirm nor deny whether I made the game or not. <laughs> and then you're not exactly, you know, you're not exactly, um, <laughs> you know, you're like being being ambiguous about. I can it. neither confirm nor deny that I made right. everything in the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody asking when the next event is. The next event comes next week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it would be. Someone mentioned it'd be good to work the blindfold in there. Yeah, she's not blindfolded here. But uh, in some of the key art, I think I sent you at least some of the key art where the, the concept art where she's got the blindfold and she's practicing, you know, like in Karate Kid. Um, Maelstrom 7737, it doesn't matter where we go from water deep to the underdark. I will close my eyes and knock you out with a spark. Not bad, not bad. A lot of, a lot of poets and lyricists in our chat. This is good. Put that in our little lyric note sheet here. Mm -hmm. I was just adding that it doesn't matter where you go. All right. I, I would change it to no matter where you go. No matter where you go. No matter where you go. We probably really I'm gonna pull this up. <laughs> well, maybe this is when we're in 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 search of secrets and you know. Well, I mean we just said to rock. So <laughs> yeah it's maybe, much, eh? huh yeah maybe too much a little too much i mean you know it's not like we're say andrew wk saying the word party as much as possible but right party um, party 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 yeah. party um, boy that made a career form didn't it yeah 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 I think, <laughs> i'm also kind of horrified uh, slash impressed that uh, every photo shoot everything you've ever seen he's wearing the same outfit like it looks like the same dirty pair of pants and shirt yeah i mean i assume, hey, look, I assume he's got a whole wardrobe of them but he com he committed to it and and you know i i admire his commitment but have you ever seen his pizza guitar no what he's got a pizza guitar yes it, it is a guitar shaped like a slice of pizza um huh. you guys have to google it it's pretty amazing and I think it even says pizza on the headstock, <laughs> as if you yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. already. There it is on Google. God, that's a horrific looking slice of pizza. <laughs> yeah, it says pizza, pizza down at the end. Yeah, huh. that guitar is amazing. And it looks great when he's in his all white outfit and then he's holding like a piece of pizza and playing it. Yeah. Huh. Apparently, he got it on July 13th, 2012. Andrew's Pizza Guitar, custom made, huh. by uh, by ESP Guitars, who sponsor me. So that's how I first learned about it. Huh. Now, when when you get sponsored by them, they're like, "No more pizza guitars." Is that something they say to you up front, or they're like, "Or do you want a pizza guitar?" No, kidding. no. I think <laughs> I, I, it's more like you know, you can't have a pizza guitar. <laughs> no. Pizza guitars were not actually discussed when I started uh, with them, but um, they made me a couple custom guitars too. But they're actually guitar shaped; they just look that makes cool. sense. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you, yeah. if I was going to make a guitar, I would want it to aesthetically be a guitar. Yeah, that makes we got sense. three custom guitars from them, but they are all sad to say guitar shaped. I guess I could have thought of a crazy shape, but I decided to just sort of go with the guitar shape and just have cool features to it or inlays here or you know like cool wood yeah they're all over at my studio though um because i'm sponsored by takamine guitars acoustically and esp guitars electric so oh cool yeah and uh i i love i mean 
the thing about it is like I wouldn't go with a company that I didn't love their product. Like that's just no point, right? So they make amazing, they, both companies make amazing guitars. I couldn't be happier or real. Cool. All righty. Back to the song. Uh, let's see. Headed down the road to the gear rock. I have, I've uh, seen that Millennium Falcon guitar too. Very adorable. Tron Tony, and that thing looks really cool. Um, there's a, a friend of mine um, uh, who runs McSwain guitars. He has made a Frankenstein guitar and a Dracula guitar. Um, he made some cool stuff. Anyway, we're, we're, we're going to get. We got to get back to the song, but this show's about hanging out with friends now, too, right? World. Oh, thanks, man. Well, I, I played for an hour. Are you talking about the, and Dylan, you might not have known this, but I, um, I, I did a concert on Sunday afternoon oh. from the whiskey a go-go from the legendary club the whiskey a go-go uh we did a, a a live stream from there i mean there was no audience it was just just a uh me and my uh, my friend gary we played a, a acoustic set together cool was, you know it was fun to uh to be performing on a stage again you know Alrighty. Traveling the world. It was like a good start. What if there's, do we have, we could still use water deep. We just need a one syllable word for another place. Chult. Traveling the world from water deep to chult. Although chult, oh, I don't know what Chult's rhymes. a whole, like, it's a whole peninsula, like a whole country almost. Seems weird to be like from a city to a country. Well, I don't know. I mean, Sade saying, well, those are both cities, but Sade saying coast to coast, LA to Chicago. What's that about? Anyway. <laughs> well, what, okay. What other, what other ones to, what are, what other big one syllable words? Okay. From here to Waterdeep, that, that kind of works. Bogart Ramshackle. Travel in the world. Right, that's what I was thinking, Gahar, the coast of Lake Michigan. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Usually when people say coast to coast, they mean... Usually the referring from west coast to east coast, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, those Great Lakes are pretty big. Need a water deep. Yeah, traveling the world from here to Waterdeep. Oh, Waterdeep to Thay. That's another good oh, one. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Traveling in the world from Waterdeep to Thay. Exactly, Maelstrom. Yeah. Teaching oh. everyone the key of rock way. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds clumsy as hell, though. Yeah, it's clumsy. It, it's a yeah. We got to massage it. Traveling the world from water deep to Thay. Teaching everyone. The. Some the path the way. Teaching everyone the only way. <laughs> and beating them up if they don't listen. That sounds. <laughs> um. It could be the next line could be a continuing list of the places from Waterdeep today to say. 
you know, oh. und- Underdark, Kalamshan, and something. You it know, rhymes with Thay. And Nyanzaru Bay. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's great. Hold on, I, uh, hold on. On a dark mountain, poor Mazaru Bay. We need, okay, uh, no, no, no. I like that, and Port Nazaru Bay. We just need, instead of Kalimsham, we need a two syllable city or place. Under dark, da, da, and Port Nazaru Bay. Port Nyanzaru. It's, it's Nyanzaru Bay, right? Yeah, Nyanzaru. It's, yeah, it's Nyanzaru. Okay, then take yeah. out Port. So it's like Under dark, dot, dot, and Nyanzaru Bay. Baldur's Gate's three syllables. We need two syllables. Well, and the problem with... Oh, Cormier's good. Cormier's good. Cormier's not used very much. I much like like that. uh, Ogsdatar, the problem is that Every place in Underdark has like nine thousand syllables. Yeah, <laughs> like Menzo Branzian or whatever it's called is like one of the shorter ones. Yeah, <laughs> that could be a whole, or whatever. It that is. could be a whole verse. We could just say one place. I wonder if we. Oh, get... Shao Long, that's deep dive. I like that. But Underdark, Cormier, and Nyan Zaru Bay. I like. I. I think. I, Traveling the world from water deep to fame So now we should talk now we okay we kind of we gave ourselves an easy way out we did a laundry list of places now let's talk about what she does there We could talk about teaching. Yeah. And if we, I mean, A is a very common round, common way, uh, common rhyme. So we could say like teaching everyone the way, da 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 day. And I mean, there's so many, there's so many A rhymes. You might be able to pull it off. Teaching everyone the way. Oh my gosh. What if it's like teaching everyone the way how to dodge and how to slay? <laughs> yes, Wackaby Stokey is an original character to the two idol champions. Ooh, teaching the open hand way, making evildoers pay. I like the open hand way, actually. I like evildoers pay. <laughs> way. Teaching the open. I'd have to sing it a little bit funky, so it'd be like. Or teach the open hand way. Teaching the what? Teach, teach the. No, I mean teaching. Actually, it's it's the right number of syllables. Just the stress is different. So it'd be like teaching the open hand way, making evil do us pay. Oh, but I think it's funny. I think it works. Teaching the open hand way. Keeping Feyrun safe every other day? 
<laughs> Keep me I like keeping Faerun safe. Every single day. <laughs> but I need a... What, uh, and if we needed like a two syllable word, we could say keeping Faerun guarded every single day. But I like safe better. I just wish there was like a, I guess I could just sing it like safe, keeping Faerun safe every single day. And that works. Keeping Faerun safe till the end of days. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Oh, and it should be even hand. I updated that, yeah. Do we like that? Keeping Faerun safe till the end of days. <laughs> Actually, until keeping Faerun safe until the end of days, because that could, that sings better. Or making Faerun, uh, good one, Mycroft Jones, making Faerun safer till the end of days. But what, then what if we just said making Faerun safer every single day? Because, I don't know, that seems funnier to me. Well, it also seems like it's an ongoing thing, right? Yeah. Like, all right, so let me try it. You guys like that? Yeah, Kevin Hart likes it. Oh, wait, we did making and then making again. Mm, I don't like that. Uh, how about keeping Faerun safe, safe for every single day? Let's take making to keeping. Keeping Faerun safe for every single day. That could be her slogan for like her company, her securities company. <laughs> Stokey Securities, keeping Faerun safer every single day. I like it. It's safer? Shouldn't it be safe? <laughs> it should, but... Does it sound um, better as safer? It sings better. Okay. Keeping Faerun safer every single day. Right, exactly. That well-known pursuit, monastic, the well-known monastic pursuit, corporate security. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, corporate huh? security makes the evildoers pay, right? Right. <laughs> Not just pay, make them pay. Pay, yeah. <laughs> Thinking of like a third part now musically that we might need because we go to the chorus after that.
for the bridge, it might be like. Yeah, I mean, maybe just like four lines in like a or like a little bridge after that second chorus. It's like. <laughs> Where a solo would be like. I digress. That's what the kind of solo it would be. <laughs> so four lines. What do you guys think? Teaching the way the human man evil doors aren't my fans, but call the bards and put together the band. Oh, I like that. <laughs> it's good. But how long are What's that? About how long are the four lines going to be? Like. Da 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 but let me try to do what we've got so far and see how it feels. Sound good? Yeah.
then that's where the little bridge park could go, I think. What do you think? I dig it. Yeah, it feels like it just needs that part, and then uh, we'll probably be good. This song is so high, I need to go grab a lozenge. <laughs> no worries. I will be back in like 30 seconds. You guys just work on that, okay? It's all good, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I need a lozenge. No, no, no. I think uh, I think what I'm going to do uh, yeah. uh, is while you're away, I'm going to pull the audience on who we do next week. Okay, that sounds good. So for next week, uh, which of the Bright Swords champions should we do? Should we do... A human barbarian, an Azamar cleric of Bahamut, or a goblin artificer. Begin. Uh, yeah. Which is to say, uh, two characters who you may know already, and one who you have not yet met, but will be learning more about soon. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. I mean, I guess... Of the of the two things, what's interesting is um, the first two characters are very stoic, serious characters, and the last one is more like um, a little more chaotic, <laughs> uh, a little more chaotic, and uh, boasting a crazy suit of powered armor. Um, so it'll be interesting, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think it'd, I think it'd be fun. Um, <laughs> although I see you guys are are doing the same thing that people do on the the neutral video on YouTube, where um, <laughs> where uh, uh, it was at perfectly even for years because <laughs> people are deliberately doing it. But it looks like uh, it looks like our artificer is pulling ahead. Um, yeah, the the artificer uh, we're aiming to have their spotlight either the end of this week or early next week. Um, they are based on the Unearthed Arcana Armorer Artificer subclass, and they're a goblin, and they buff uh, uh, other small-sized champions. Um, you're going to see a preview of them on Friday as part of Griddle Champions, and then you know a spotlight as soon as we can get one together after that. They are still being implemented. Last I checked with Chris, uh, I think all of the equipment has been put into the database, but um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Is Tasha on the list at some point? That's a good question, Cassius. Um, I don't know that there's enough. Like, we don't know enough about the infamous Tasha to do a song about her. Like, what do we know? We know that. Uh, you know, she was mentored by the Baba Yaga, and we know that she is a, pro a profoundly powerful wizard who has created magic and traveled the plains and being antagonistic to some other very powerful wizards like Mordenkainen. But that's about that's about the gist of it. Like, uh, you know, I, I like you. I am eager to hear more or read more about Tasha when Tasha's Cauldron of Everything comes out later this year, because uh, that will be an interesting book. Um, Back. I'm excited about that book. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I will never get tired of seeing more character class options ever. Like, give me more. Always give me more. I'm down. And, uh, and you know, new spells, great. I like that they're, you know, looking at alternative origin stories and character development for 5e, which is really, really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for it. But I get excited for every release. What can I say? I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd who likes D&D. &D. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. It Same. looks like of the uh, three champions next week, um, our brand new, as yet, un, un, not totally officially announced, uh, Goblin Artificer is going to be the one we're doing a song for. Uh, but that's good because I wrote their backstory, so there's literally nothing I can't tell you about them. So you really are Dylan the Creator. Uh, for the next one, looks like, yeah. Uh, barring a massive surge in voting for one of the other other two. But, uh, yeah. And, which is funny because I actually wrote the Azamar Cleric of uh, Bahamut as well. I Bahamut? Wrote, I wrote that one. Cool. But uh, the Goblin Artificer has a much more interesting background, <laughs> I think. 
I mean, human barbarian. That's pretty generic. Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, Wolfgar, son of Beornagar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who yeah. didn't he make? Did he make Brunor's hammer? No. Um. Uh. So uh, he was basically um, indebted to Brunor's clan and had to do an act of service where he lived, uh, where he served him for five years in a day, and Brunor is like. Oh, this guy's awesome. I like him a lot. He's like a son to me. And so uh, uh, Dritz taught him how to fight, and Brunner made him a hammer blessed by the Dwarven gods. Um, yeah, it's pretty dope. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks like, you know, it's going to finish any second now. But uh, yeah, it uh, looks like the Goblin Armor Artificer. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll, that will be fun. Does he have will, a name? Uh, she does. Yeah, we haven't announced it yet, but I will send you their bio. Um, I am still writing it, actually. Okay. Well, I will send it to you. So. You're going to make it like a song, then. Yeah, yeah, that's a trip. Okay, cool. That will be fun. Um, anyways, we need four more lines to wrap yeah. up the key of rock. <laughs> So this could kind of be a conclusion, sort of ish. Maybe. Or just more. It, it doesn't have to be like a st the stunning conclusion or anything, but just more of like the message we're trying to send with it. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay. So I guess the, the, the path of the key of rock is uh, is like a is what is it so it's like some sort of um, spiritual gauntlet. We haven't yeah. mentioned the spirit of rock in here yet. We should do that. <laughs> yeah. Like the spirit is all around us. Yeah. Kind of thing. I can feel the spirit moving on us out of me. I can feel the spirit of key. I can feel the spirit of key deep inside of me. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, I mean, it works. I can feel the spirit of key deep inside of me. Now I did, 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 longing to be free or something. inside building inside me yeah 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 i can feel the spirit of key building inside of building inside me key of rock da, da, da. you probably need one more yeah yeah Need something here. Do you mean modulation, um, Tensilk? Because it's not really a bridge. We're doing a bridge at this point. Oh, you know what? Wackaby said build building up in me and, um, Gastel ninety nine said, "Raging inside me." I kind of dig. I kind of either dig building up in me, or yeah, I think building up in me. Maybe not raging, because she is a monk after all. So yeah. there's 
There's some balance there in the force. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool if it was the key of rock, da da doc, longing to be free, like something that rhymes with rock. It can be it can be a near rhyme. Key of rock spiritual shock. <laughs> huh. Oh wait, is spiritual shock a spell? No. No. Okay. Uh what do we got for rhymes? Any chance her blindfold is made from a sock? <laughs> uh, Probably <unfortunately> not. not. <laughs> Oh man, even with my blindfold on, my spirit helps me see. Bob censored, that's pretty good. The key of rock is unlocked and longing to be free. The key of rock is unlocked. Key of rock is unlocked. The problem, ten suck with a key change, is that I'm pretty much at the top of my range singing this song. It started like right here, so if I modulated higher, I would just—I don't know what I would be able to do. Nothing. I would sound like um, Bobby Brady or something in the Brady Bunch. Oh, geez. We could, I mean, we could do two more. And even with my blindfold on, it helps me see. Rock is unlocked, longing to be free is still the last one. I can feel the spirit of key building up in me. Even with my blindfold on, my spirit helps me see. Da 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 The key of rock is unlocked, longing to be free. So we need another one. Okay. We need an E rhyme. It could be something like when I like when we haven't used the word I, destiny yet. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> as long as it's not a pick of destiny, I think we're good. I'll still charge me fee. <laughs> <laughs>
Change my spirit to that spirit. Okay. Sure. Hold on that spirit. I'm on on that spirit. Help me. Uh, let's see. Did we say flee yet? Following my senses. Oh. Following all my senses. Following now. Following my senses is but following my senses to achieve my destiny. Or towards my towards my destiny? Well, no, to achieve my destiny is the right number of syllables. It's just, I'm not sure if in a rock song you would say to achieve. Yeah, yeah. Um, following my senses towards let's look for some synonyms my final destiny following my senses towards my final destiny because I mean obviously all the final destiny is enlightenment right or to fulfill enlightenment to fulfill my destiny. That works. Yeah, that works. To fulfill my destiny. Ooh, embrace my destiny, I like. Ooh, embrace my destiny. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like embrace. I like embrace better, too. Oh, um, nem, nem, nem likes potatoes with parsley, but, you know, <laughs> can't all be winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parsley. Not every line is a winner. A little salt and pepper, some butter, maybe. It's going to be good. I like to eat it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm thinking about cooking dinner. I should be thinking about music and rock. That's right. Well, is this it? Spirit of keep building up in me. Even with my blindfold on that spirit helps me see. Following my senses to embrace my destiny. The key of rock is unlocked. Longing to be free. I think that's it. I think that's it too. No, it don't be. A note I cannot hit, but it will work for the song. So I will figure out how to hit it at least once. That's good timing, Toe. It's, it's quarter two. That gives us enough time to perform this and maybe perform a request from one of the other songs and then wrap it yeah. up. Yeah. I have a request. Ooh. I want to play Brimstone Angels. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. It's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, me too. And I think I have enough notes to remember it, even though it's been two weeks. <laughs> the key is recording these things because, you know, as songwriters, we're... Uh, we're always working on different songs and then we forget what we worked on before. I told you the Keith Richards story before, right? Uh, yeah, where he woke up in the hotel room with a recording of something he'd written the, the night Yeah, before. he woke up in a hotel room with a tape recorder, like not even remembering where he was. And then he pressed play on the tape recorder and it was him playing the riff to start me up. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. I remember yeah. the other, the only other Rolling Stones story I can think of off the top of my head was the one where I guess the woman who sung in the the background of "Gimme Shelter" was somebody they like woke up, and who like was in her like her nightgown in the church with them while they were recording it. 
That's awesome. Yeah. Just like, yeah. I know somebody who could do this, phone them, woke them up, drag them down there and wake up, get down here. But you hear her, you hear her hit those notes. And in the background, you can hear them go. Yeah. Like you hear them cheer for her in the recording. It's awesome. Anyway, wow. on that note, I think we're ready to try this. Let's do it. All the right. Key of rock. Key of rock. <laughs> I think you did. I think it was good. I think it was a lot of fun. Definitely. And uh, yeah, unless that thing. you threw me off because you changed even hand. I saw that I did that and I was like, whoops. And I just changed it back now. Cause I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah. I was looking at, it, I was like thinking about it grammar wise. I'm like, well, wouldn't it be the even handed way? It would, but to sing it, we should, it's okay. I think yeah, yeah. the even hand way. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's on me. Alrighty. Where's the Space Hamster Blues? Thank you, Mayhem81. 
Here we go. Here it is. Oh, you want, are we going to do uh... uh Brimstone Angels go go yeah. go? That's what we wanted to do. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's even let's even do it. <laughs> let's... <laughs> So this one was more of a pop punk inspired one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punk pop. Um, a lot of a lot of references to it being the perfect song for the intro to the anime about the Brimstone Angels, which would be awesome. And I don't know why one doesn't exist because <laughs> it's such a perfect topic for it. Tiefling sisters with a, a, a dragonborn adopted father and deals with devils and like it's so anime. The more that I think about it, it's perfect. So. Maybe it's someday. Super anime. Yeah, yeah. Be a great anime. Let's pitch it. Let's do it. Let's get it made. Yeah. You guys already know the rights to this. We've already this. got the theme song. So, yeah. all right. <laughs> Here we go. All right. It was a cold and stormy day. I was slightly disheveled, but I felt a spark there anyway. You taught me Eldritch Blast, and I was sure this love would last. They all told me no. He's the devil that I know, but now we're on the road. sounded even better this time well if each time you do something you get slightly better at it right yeah i mean i resisted the urge i'm like looking at the lyrics i'm like lowest dungeon delve or deepest dungeon delve I'm like would that be harder to sing i'm like i'm not gonna do it while he's singing it <laughs> on the mountain peaks to the deepest dungeon delves i think deepest is cooler we could change it i love alliteration what can i say anyways um yeah i think i think that's it I think, yeah. I think we've written a song with chat, 
we know who we're doing next week. And uh, we've gotten even... really fast and good at this. It's like in the, the last two episodes, we had guests and they were feeding us a lot of lore about the characters, mm -hmm. uh, which was great. And we still finished the songs at the end of the episode. Mm -hmm. This one, when it's just you and me, we finished it in like 90 minutes. Of course, you and me and chat. I mean, chat helps immensely all the time. Yeah, yeah. There are, there are tons of chat lines of in this song. Yeah. I mean, this is like writing a song with a hive mind, right? Mm -hmm. So they're an integral part of of making these songs go so fast. But I mean, I think this one, I think we finished, this is the fastest we ever finished, or was the uh, the Kobold one faster? Uh, it's, it's close. It's close. Right, they right, both, they both, they both finished early enough to, to think about performing other songs at the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, I think, uh, I think... I think that's it. I think this has been our show for uh, August 25th, uh, 2020. Uh, so thank you all for joining us today, for participating in this chat, helping us uh, helping us get this together. Also for, you know, participating in the Idol Champions and D&D communities. Uh, that makes you guys awesome. You're awesome. Uh, this show exists because of a whole bunch of awesome people behind the scenes, including our co-producer, moderator, Jay, our executive producer, Erica, our partners at D&D, uh, and the, the one and the only Jason Charles Miller. Uh, so take care, everybody. Uh, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. I think tomorrow morning, the next thing we're doing is, uh, is uh, uh, the, the, another, another one and only Satine Phoenix and uh, Margaret will be doing Evergreen Champions. So Perfect. Really hope to see you then. Have a good one, everybody. We'll catch you next week for uh, a song about a goblin artificer. Sounds good. <laughs> Cheers. Bye, guys.